Hi there, I'm Katherine Henyon, the author of A New Bag, uh, which is published in Blue Penny Review. Thanks go to Doug Lawson for that. Uh, and I'm here uh, to talk about the inspiration for this story. Um, so I started writing it in 2010. So <laughs> as many writers will understand, it sometimes can take a long time from the kernel beginning of the story to um, getting it published or even sending it out for that matter. Uh, and what it started from was just uh, I happened to know a few grade school teachers and just chatting with them and hearing about their their work and their some of their frustrations with administrative policies and the common core curriculum and feeling caught between uh, parents and the children and kind of not really able to do their job sometimes. Um, not so much um, anger so much, but um, just frustration. And so I think that that comes through in, in the story out of the protagonist, Patricia Rawlings. Um, so in particular, my sister teaches actually middle school music and she would just send me some anecdotes of things that would happen, things that kids would say more just kind of like giving me a sense for what the day-to-day -day life of a teacher was like. So that was <laughs> very helpful. And then the um, conflict of Ivan, the, um, the man who's reviewing her, really just came um, out of nowhere. That was a gift, I suppose, just the sense that this kind of strange looming man at the back of her classroom reviewing her um, created that conflict that I wanted to see how it would play out and, and kind of push Patricia into a crisis of sorts of having to make an action, take some action in her life. Because um, I think she had, like many people perhaps, gotten disenchanted with the job and not really feeling like she could make a difference or that anyone, especially students and parents, really cared so much about what she was doing and instead were imposing these rules and regulations and and sort of um, pressures on, on her that she didn't really care for the job anymore. And of course there's also the situation of her, her lack of love life and, and, and things. So basically it's just the crisis. Ivan is the, the fire um, under her seat that gets her to take action and, and um, at the end of the story. So uh, I hope you enjoy it, and again, thanks to, to Doug and everyone at Blue Penny for publishing the story.